create and adopt the music video react. What's up everybody? It's your favorite cat and streamer, Gil slash Protector6. I'm back for another CAD music video react. We will be now doing a reaction to Backdoor by Stray Kids. Sorry, this isn't a blind react. I've heard the song two times. It's almost like a blind react, but it's not completely a blind react. Because I first heard the song when it, they came out, but I'm not doing the review until now, which is Saturday. So it's been a while, but sadly it's not a blind react. But it's close to it. Um, I've become a fan of Stray Kids, and I really enjoy their songs that are similar to Side Effects, Muto, um, what other ones, uh, it's God's Menu, I think that's the song title, right? I really enjoy their songs like that, I, I think Levander, Astronaut are okay, but I really like the songs where they go hard. That's why I fell in love with Stray Kids music, it's the ones where they go crazy, go hard, all in. Um, so I... I have mixed talks about Backdoor. I think it's good, but I don't think they went hard enough. If that makes sense. Now you might be like, it's still good. I agree, it's still good. But just saying which songs I enjoy by them, like Side Effects, Muto, you should know what type of song I want from them. And Backdoor isn't quite that. They get there. At some points, like the pre-hook, they do that. The refrain, they go pretty hard. But the parts that they don't go hard, and I, I, I lose some of the energy. For, with Stray Kids, I want energy. I want to be pumped up listening to their music. And Backdoor sort of does it. It's a, The instrumental itself is sort of more groovy than anything. And I've seen that. Like, have anyone else noticed a lot of the releases in the past month? They've been a little more groovy in terms of instrumentals. You know, Dynamite by BTS. Lomi Disco by JYP. All of these songs right now are going a little more of this sort of more jazzy vibe. Disco vibe, cool, smooth instrumentals, which I think is really interesting. It's, I'm, it's we're seeing a little shift in terms of instrumentals, but uh, for Stray Kids, I just want that heavy EDM. You know what I mean? So we'll take a listen. Those are my thoughts initially, because I did listen to the song twice, but it's been a while, so that's all I can remember. So let's go right into Backdoor by Stray Kids. Okay, he's chilling at art. Art gallery. I like his jacket. Can I have that jacket? Then there's a random lever. You know, when there's random things in rooms, you really shouldn't do anything with them. Like, pull it up. So this, like, intro is a little groovy. I like this editing, though. Hey, you wanna come in? That's why you drug. And so, like, here is just groovy. You know, like, the, the beat is like. Dude, dude, dude. It reminds me a little of like disco, you know what I mean? It's a little, it's just a little groovy, it's not like pumping me up music yet. Like it's, it's, it's fast, it's got a driving tempo. But then, they, you know, then we do this vocal, and then I'm like, okay. It's not quite, not quite side effects. And there's nothing wrong with that, it's just not what I want from trinkets. And here we go. Now I like this. I love this track. This is what I want from Stray Kids. This is what I want from my Stray Kids. And here we have a it's all it's sort of groovy, but Jane to that hardcore Stray Kids sound. Like a mix between them. But like if you hear the instruments, it's a little more groovy than driving. And then we're doing the sort of like, almost R&B vocals, but with a little faster tempo than the R&B song. But it's not like hard tracing, you know? And we go again. I think this dance move is cool, but I love the instrumental here. I wish it went a little more driving, a little more hardcore, but I think it's hard pretty hard. 
one thing is, I wish I had they had their deep rappers do their uh, lines earlier in the song. Yeah. I wish this was in the start of the song. Really sets that uh, hardcore straight kick smooth. I love how many like extras they have. It's like such a pump up thing. Oh, that's like an EDM cornet right there. Or something. I love that. I love the banner comes out. Now we're getting to like typical straight kids. I think you know what I mean. And now we're going back to groovy, groovy the end of it. Then you have that dude in the background, you know, he did the lever initially. Hey, you wanna come in? Alright. Back door. By Stray Kids. So, as I was saying, this is not typical Stray Kids. It doesn't go, it's not like hardcore Stray Kids, you know what I mean? Um, it's not side effects. It's not Miro level. But it still goes fairly hard, as I said, especially that pre-hook that I've been just gushing over in the refrain. That goes pretty hard. Um, and other parts are just groovy, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not what I expected out of a title song, if that makes sense. It, like, catches me by surprise every time still. Where it's, like, almost... It's just... It still goes pretty hard. It's groovy, but it's a driving tempo still. A driving beat. But it's just not Tamiro side effects level you know it's not to the very extreme and that's where i love stray kids the most is when they go to the extreme and i'm just pumped up i'm like i'm going to go from whatever my like mood is like energy level like it'd be 10 one if i listen to this stray kids song i'm gonna get to 100 and i can do that like that's like uh, side effects that's god's menu that's that type of song where you just go pump it up and you're like all right i just need to get pumped Zoom. it's like you know japping by Super M, that level, like, boom. This is not, like, it goes, like, to 70. It's, like, 50 to 70. It's, like, all right, let, let, let's go, like, when you're running, and you're, like, don't go 100%, go, like, 50, 70. That's, like, that's, like, J.O.P. telling Stray Kids, yo, let's not go 100%. Let's go, like, 50, 70. You know, it's a jog. It's a warm-up. That's what Backdoor is. <laughs> but it's really groovy. I enjoy it. I'm going to give that... I'll give that 8 out of 10. I'm feeling generous today. I'll give that 8 out of 10. I thought it was solid. I thought it was interesting how they tried to make it more groovy. And I think it didn't hurt them. I think it paid off um, in a certain way. I just wish that um, they went a little harder in the reverses. Especially early on to build that energy. But I think the pre-hook and the refrain had good energy levels. And that's the thing about Stray Kids. Is I want energy. Um, but I think it still was a groovy song. I thought the grooviness added to it and show they're not one dimensional or two dimensional they're more three dimensional now because you have like astronaut which is sort of like their r&b sort of song they're slower songs um so they showed that side and then you have you know the normal hardcore energy stray kids and this is showing that they can do something somewhere in the middle so i appreciate it i enjoyed it is it going to be my like top in my top three stray kid songs no because I'm all about that hardcore Stray Kid energy. But I think Backdoor is a solid song. I think it's a good song. And I think it's enjoyable. And I would definitely go listen to it again. So yeah. That's why I gave it 8 out of 10. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm really interested to see what the other songs are that will be on the EP. And listen to those. Because sometimes Stray Kids put some really good Stray Kid hardcore um, level songs in their b-side so i'm looking forward to delving into that but i think backdoor is a good intro song title song for an ep for them so that's all i have to say about it so thank you so much for watching this cad music video react please like share and subscribe if you enjoyed it please <laughs> um and comment below with what future cad music video reacts you want to see um, we do new releases, but we're, I'm thinking about, and I say this almost every video, but we're going to try to do some, uh, older K-pop reviews, such as 
Kata's If You Wanna. Maybe Lies by Big Bang. You know, some older K-pop that people might not be familiar with. So I would love to start doing that. But let me know if you have any suggestions for songs you want me to cover. So until next time, see ya. Be sure to check me out on my other socials such as Discord, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. Thanks. See you next time.